In this video, I'm going to talk about the polka dot takeover and Akon joins Brock Pierce in a presidential campaign. What's going on guys? Randy here with another Daily Crypto video. So let's get into the content right away. P polka dot. So their valuation has overtaken Ghost Chain's EOS, Cardano in just six days. It's incre incredible. It, it, Polkadot has just blown up. Uh, projects that have been on it already for months now have also taken off, like Kusama being one of them. Uh, pretty wild stuff. So Polkadot appears to be living up to its hype after finally launching its native token DOT. The network has attracted a host of notable DeFi projects who are actively using the technology. Competitors like EOS, Tezos, and Cardano have yet to earn the same kind of traction. Polkadot's $4.2 billion market cap puts it ahead of the comp competitors like Tezos, EOS, and Cardano less than a week after its native DOT token went live. The blockchain already has teams actively building on the application layer making it a serious competitor to heavyweights like Ethereum and Cosmos. And uh, so why why is Polkadot's high market cap justified? Polkadot's launch is one of the most highly anticipated events of the year for crypto. The blockchain mainnet kicked off on May in May 2020, but but dot tokens were only made transferable on August 19th, making the network truly functional. DOT tokens listed on crypto exchanges after the network passed a, a resolution for a 100 to 1 uh, redenomination re to decrease token price and increase supply. Polkadot's total network value is listed above the likes of Tezos, Cosmos, and EOS. This may surprise many since these blockchains have been live for years. Developers have been flocking to build on Polkadot's application layer which is more than some of these other blockchains can claim. Staffy, Akala, and Sora Network are a few projects that are building a DeFi ecosystem on Polkadot. Existing protocols like Chainlink are also building the necessary infrastructure to bring oracles to the Polkadot blockchain. Apart from Ethereum, Polkadot and Cosmos are the only smart contract platforms that builders are seeking out as a potential layer one of blockchains. This is in part because these blockchains have interoperability solutions built into their core. Smart contract platforms with valuations over half a billion dollars that include Tezos, EOS, Cardano, Neotron, and Cosmos. However, the combined activity on these blockchains is a drop in the ocean compared to Ethereum. A past study also found that 82% of all Tezos transactions and 95% of EOS, uh, EOS's activities are meaningless. Crypto valuation techniques are nascent and undeveloped. The only method that has widespread consensus is the use of relative valuations. In this light, Polkadot's valuation compared to Cardano, EOS, and Tezos certainly make, makes sense. If Polkadot is attracting more developers and potential users than existing solutions, it makes sense to, uh, to price the network higher than these alternatives yeah Polkadot has just blown up and like out of nowhere I mean it's been in the background they've been working on it and it was finally finally launched and uh, yeah it's, it's blowing some of these top projects away um, that have been around for a while like the article says EOS Cardano hasn't even uh, begun doing anything yet uh, so they're yet to be seen uh, what what they can do uh, but yeah, pretty wild. Polkadot's price has just been surging. So something to keep an eye on. Moving on to the next story. So Akon joins Brock Pierce's presidential campaign as a chief strategist. Uh, so yeah, Brock Pierce is an independent presidential candidate. Very big into crypto. Um, he's a crypto entrepreneur as well as Akon who has his uh, token called A-Coin, which is going to run the his city in Senegal, his crypto city. 
So Singer and entrepreneur Akon will be endorsing crypto venture capitalist and independent candidate for U.S. President Brock Pierce and also joining his 2020 campaign team. According to online news outlet Cheddar, J.D. Dirk had reported on August 24th that Akon will be serving as the chief strategist for Pierce, uh, Pierce's campaign this election year. Pierce reportedly cited the singer's accomplishments in Africa and experience as a businessman and artist as some of the reasons for the addition to his campaign. I've always known Brock Pierce to be a stand-up guy, Akon says. He's a real people's person, and he doesn't operate between party lines. We share the same dream of pushing America forward for everyone without showing favoritism to one particular base. Pierce running to win. In an interview with Cointelegraph last week, Pierce revealed that one of his main campaign strategies for 2020 was to draw away electoral votes from Joe Biden and Donald Trump. This effort is the only possible way for Pierce to win the presidency as he announced his campaign in early July. After the after the filing deadline for independence had passed in Indiana, New Mexico, North Carolina, and Texas. If neither Trump nor Biden win 270 or more of the electoral votes, then the U.S. House of Representatives would get the final vote of the top three presidential candidates, which could include Pierce. The addition of Akon to Pierce's campaign may result in an even more media exposure to help put a spotlight on cryptocurrency as an election issue. Akon is currently working with the team to build Akon City, a 2,000-acre crypto project in Senegal, powered, powered by Acoin, a utility, a utility token aimed at the African market. Uh, yeah, interesting stuff there. On uh, a nice pick for for Brock Pierce. Um, definitely good for the crypto space and to get the topic of crypto in a positive light into uh, debates. Uh, before I let you guys go, well, let's uh, first, actually, what do you guys think of Brock Pierce running for president? Do you just think it's, uh, do you think he has a shot at all to, to accomplish what he wants? Uh, do you think Akon helps? And also, did you get an, in on DOT? And uh, do you think it's overbought at the moment? Uh, would you buy right now? Or, like I said, do you just think it's oversold and you're going to wait for a dip? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Before I let you go, if you guys have not downloaded the Brave browser yet, it is exactly like Google Chrome since it's built on the Google Chrome framework. You can download Google Chrome extensions, things like that. The main difference though, the Brave browser blocks ads and trackers, saves you on bandwidth, and saves you on time. On top of that, you can earn rewards for viewing uh, particular ads that pop up. Uh, specific to you, mostly crypto ads. This month I've earned 21.28 basic attention tokens, which equals $7.39. When BAT hits its all time high of nearly a dollar, that's $21 just for using a browser. And uh, I earn similar amounts on my, on my uh, mobile phone as well. If you guys want to try out the Brave browser, there's a link in the description, and I will see you guys tomorrow.